I lost my legs. Okay. I lost my legs and the second thing I had to pull him. Because he may stand like this because he doesn't want me to be here. Okay. So I'm pulling. That way he drops his legs. If someone is up like this, it's gonna be difficult for me to try again. Okay. He base his legs need to be very low. So I pull him down. Okay. The second thing is I'm gonna have to take control of the wrist. Okay. So what I think once I have to control of the wrist, there are many things. Okay. The first condition for a triangle is to have one arm in and one arm out. Okay. You can go pin the arm to the body, then put the leg over to the neck. That's one condition. That's one way. You can also shoot your, your foot in, then get in here, or you could also maybe let him do something like a little thing, or you could also grab the, grab the wrist. You grab the wrist, then you can start working your way in. Okay? So I pull it in, take control of the wrist, okay? Push his body, his hand against his body, and I move my leg. So if I move on the left side, I move my left leg. If I move on my right side, right leg. So I go here. And then I shoot my foot on his neck here. My knee goes to his leg, no space. My knee needs to be a little above his here. Okay. Once I have this, I bite down. This hand I move it to the side. Okay. And this one I just lock down here like this. Okay. And all I do is I squeeze. If it does not tap, I lock my hand on the back of his leg, I put down. And I bridge. That's one way to finish. Another option is in case you cannot finish like this, you can hug your knees, use the S grip, okay? Hug your knees, S grip, and tighten. Tighten your knees. Go here. I'm hugging my knees and I start squeezing. Okay?